What is up, YouTubers? It's your boy, Polly C. Look at these stairs. I made, what is it called? A damsel in distress? <laughs> oh, yeah, those are some winding stairs. We are in an apartment building that is right on the water. We have two bedrooms, living room, dining room, hallway. Carpets are in pretty good shape. As you can see, there is some wear. I'll point that out later. Surprisingly, these are gray carpets, dark gray. The camera won't show that, but check it out. This is crazy. There's the foot ferry going across over to Bremerton. This is in Port Orchard, Washington. And I had no idea. These apartments do not come available very often. They're not the greatest apartments. It's got a community washer and dryer room just downstairs, which is no big deal. But for $1,500 a month for two bedrooms, nowadays, that is cheap. And this is a great community here. Port Orchard, right on the water, right by the ferry. The foot ferry, that is. You can see small kitchen, but quaint. We'll take a walk back here. I'll be utilizing the Auric Orbiter. Look at that bathroom. Wood flooring. Come on in here. This is bedroom number one, which I believe is, I guess either one could be the master. I'll be using these microfiber, these thick pads. I mean, I have come to really like them. This is my four gallon or, yeah, it's a four gallon jug. We'll be filling that up. Looks like the cat got a couple edges there. No big deal, but look at this one. We're not gonna be doing any repairs today. Looks like they may have vacuumed, however. We're going to hit it again. There's another pad. I'll use one in each room, possibly both sides. There's my wife doing the vacuuming. Look at that. Hoover Hush Tone digging out the dry soil. For you people who are watching to get into the business affordably, get you a good commercial vacuum. 70% of the soil that you're going to remove is dry soil. So you definitely need to do that step first. You got to remember we're not steam cleaning, so there's no hoses on our equipment, no vacuum hoses, so there's no suction. So we need to get all the dry soil out with a good vacuum, regardless if the customer says they vacuumed. Nine times out of 10, their vacuum is just grazing the surface. It may be clogged, it may be cheap. You know, you don't want to tell anybody that, but it's been my experience that even this one, they said they vacuumed it and the maid service or whoever was in here and you could hear all of the cat litter being lifted into the machine. So I'll be putting four gallons. I am using my Green Dragon uh, crystallizing solution. No soap, no residue. Great, great, safe for all types of fabrics, wool, or synthetics, olefin, nylon, you name it. Safe product. I also have the Kaput, which is the CLO2. I'm mixing that pretty heavy. Two tablespoons because this place, the cat kind of hit a couple areas, so we're gonna neutralize the odor there. And then there is a few traffic lanes. I put just a dash of angry lemon that is a liquid encapsulating clean cleaner that is also available with the Green Dragon and the Kaput through NCAP store. As soon as I'm able to post links, I don't know why on this new channel you have to be at a certain level or verified or something in order to post links. I'll put links in there so that you know where I get my stuff on Amazon, where you can get the Green Dragon at ncapstore.com and Angry Lemon, like I said, a little bit in there just for some boosting power. 
the kaput is ClO2 or chlorine dioxide. It'll be sprayed out using my works 20 volt hydro shot sprayer. You could see I got the smaller lancet. I think the smaller lancet was like 10 bucks on Amazon instead of the long one. I've had this for over two years. There's 40 degree is what I do the general areas. If we had steps, we would spin it around to 25 degree angle so we don't spray all over the walls. The way that I set this up, I put a different hose on there, cheap. I bought maybe a couple feet of uh, vinyl hose and I put a few washers on there in between the filter and the little clamp that holds it on so you can drop it in and kaplunk right to the bottom. The great thing about that is when you tip the jug forward, the weight goes forward so you're still getting solution. I've got the battery fully, fully charged and then we got to prime it. So there's a safety switch, which is nice. You push that and the trigger releases. So we'll get it going. We'll prime it a little bit and I'll show you. I'm using one hand to hold the camera. You can see that 40 degree angle. So I won't be showing you myself pre-spraying everything. But you get the idea. You just go through, you pre-spray, get a good amount of pre-spray down. I generally, there's four gallons here. I'll probably use about half a gallon per room. There's the microfiber pad. These are not your typical pads that are made for floor machines. This is the Auric Orbiter. You can get one online at Amazon. I think they're 350. I've been posting links in the community post. I found one in Arlington, Texas on, I think it was Craigslist or eBay for 200 bucks if you can pick it up. So I'll kind of keep an eye open for you guys and gals. That vacuuming that I talked about, since you're not using any suction, you need a thorough vacuuming. My wife is basically almost crisscrossing, going one direction back the other you could see it almost looks clean if you don't do this especially where people you're using the clo2 for odors the cat hair skin dander all that cat litter we got out that's going to create more smells when you come in and pre-spray it and then you're not going to get the smell out because it's going to clog up all of the potential in the clo2 so always pre-vacuum. I'm gonna show you the fiber damage. This would be a good carpet to show it on. You see how the fibers in that traffic area are completely open and laying flat? And then compared to, let me come over here in the corner where nobody's been walking. You see how pristine and plush that is? So if you're getting in the business, you need to recognize when you walk in and you talk to the client, you want to point out that because it's open fiber, you'll clean it, but there's a lot of wear there. And when it lays flat like this, you see it reflecting the light differently. Plus, it looks like they may have sprayed something down in a couple areas. It looks bleached out a little bit, but see how, see the difference? First, take a look. See how it's all untwisted? Look at that. That's fiber damage. You need to be aware of that. You see, there's a perfect blend. I would snapshot that and show your customer. That's the side that hasn't been walked on, and that's the side that has. So they call it apparent wear or apparent soil. It looks like soil apparently, but it's not. <laughs> apparently, my grandpa watches the news. <laughs> Anybody remember that YouTube video? That cute kid getting interviewed. So, oh my gosh, I think he was even on Ellen DeGeneres' show. So we're going to get started here, and we are cleaning with the Oric. The reason I'm not using my bigger swirly machine is because of that wraparound staircase. It'd be a pain with me and my wife. If my son was with me, we'd just pick up one side of the swirly and carry it up. 
But you see the on off? O is not for on, it's for off. You always want to make sure, especially if you wrap the cord around the top handle, sometimes it clicks that over. So if you walk into another room like this and you got the machine up, you plug it in, it's going to go crazy and hit the walls. I like to find a good plug that's centrally located. This one looks to be the higher wattage plug, and it has a built-in surge protector on it, or I guess what they would say would be it would snap the button before it snaps the uh, fuse box, so you don't have to go hunting for that. Again, the two red handles, they're from Amazon, 10 bucks a piece. They're, and you would search back ease, and you could get those. They comes with its own tool and everything. They're great. This pad driver is from Challenger OP. It's called the 10 inch pad driver fits right on the auric cup however this one's very old so i'm waiting for a replacement on the velcro it just gets stapled on but you can see it's all clogged up so what i did was i stapled a couple pieces i had on the truck this is wood it is starting to kind of wear with the humidity so i put a little duct tape inside to keep it tight i think they run about 42 dollars for that particular driver, it comes with brand new Velcro on it. It's a pretty good deal. These things last forever. Fits like a glove. Pop it on. All right. And then the microfiber cloth. $21 for six pads. I call them pads. They're, they're 14 by 14 microfiber cloth. So if you go on Amazon, you search 14 by 14 microfiber cloths it's the thicker plush ones i think they only come two-sided one side is teal green one side is gray you don't want to get those little cheap flimsy microfiber cloths that people use for wiping down cars you want the thick one if you put one of those thin ones under there it's not it's not going to have the ability to absorb the suspended solution and the soils or the solution and the suspended dirt so make sure $21 for six I bought two packs so I have a total of 12 I've used microfiber regular pads you can buy a regular uh, 12 or 13 inch microfiber blue pad from direct mop sales or you can go to ncapstore.com my favorite place and get uh, pads that are made for the auric as well however i have been testing these out in various homes and i'm quite pleased with the ability number one microfiber spins really easy on the auric orbiter so no need for any uh, what do they call those discs or uh, gliders it just moves freely and microfiber it picks up unlike a regular cotton pad like my iron man pads or the challenger op 50 50 blend pad they pick up soil and solution onto the surface of the pad and it bleeds through to the other side sometimes which is great the microfiber is strands if you look at it they look like little veins each strand absorbs the water or solution through the vein or through the strand that's why a lot of guys like to dry their cars or clean windows with these because you're not smearing any of the solution or the the water with the surface of the pad even though it's absorbing you're still going to have some wet that's going to smear a little bit these microfiber pads they just suck it into the pad which is what you want then you'll you'll start to feel if i did more than one room with this the pad starts to slow down when it gets full of water and soil indicating okay it's time to change me always recommend one pad per area i think i've got one for each room including the hallway if you got a real dirty area and you start to notice that the soil is not being picked up, 
you definitely want to flip the pad over use the other side or use additional pads I will show you here in the hallway in a minute when I come across um, I'll show you you'll see the difference I'll create a line going across the area where I cleaned and the area where it still hasn't been cleaned and you'll definitely see that we are picking up the soil the ease of this machine it's 24 pounds again it's the auric orbiter I put the two handles on it so I can use the lower handle to lift it when I carry it in or upstairs the top handle is also just for quick pickups or if I'm doing the stairs and I want to apply more pressure I put my left hand on the top of that handle and I push down a little bit on the more soiled areas this is a great starter machine you can every truck that if you're doing low moisture cleaning you need one for the stairs anyway look at this that's where continue you see how clean it is but then you pan back out and it'll reflect the light differently you see how it looks like a dirty spot but it's not just a little training tip because a lot of guys you know when you get into this business or when customers see that if they think that's dirt they're not going to because you're going to pre-explain to them and you know, a lot of guys are like well i don't want to go in with excuses before i do anything it's not an excuse you're educating the customer you definitely want the customer to understand and see that that the carpet has some wear on it nine times out of ten they're going to already know but you got to set the expectations I will come in, my wife will groom this. I usually groom it. I groom with what's called a rug renovator. You can go on Amazon and search rug renovator brush. It's a double-sided brush with rolling wheels, so it's very easy to push. So you got two things, 24 pounds for the machine. Anybody can lift this. Most people, I should say, if you're a senior citizen, and you're looking to make some part-time money on a hustle or you're a young 16-year-old skinny punk. <laughs> I'm just kidding. A young 16-year-old and you're not uh, lifting weights or concerned with that, then you can pick this up too, 24 pounds. You can throw it in the back of your Honda Civic or whatever. Eventually, as a business, if you decide you like the business and you don't want to do it as a side hustle, you would want to get a you know some type of van so that you can put more equipment in it uh, I would suggest maybe going up to a bigger machine as well which you'll see me use my swirly 175 rotary that thing only weighs 68 pounds it it's already set up for the ease of operation it has bigger wheels so you can pull it up and down the stairs no need to carry a tank a uh, removable handle you can take the whole handle off if you're putting in the trunk of a vehicle so we'll get into that later but this is a great setup right here you got your auric orbiter you got a nice commercial vacuum you get you the rug renovator for grooming you get you your green dragon get you some kaput for the smell so you got your crystallizing zero residue solution your odor destroyer disinfectant the green dragon dries down to a brittle crystal, leaves behind an anti-resoiling agent. Therefore, you're providing protection. So you can say everything's included, clean, deodorize, and protect. So you don't have to go in and try to sell anything. Now, if you have a heavy, heavy urine and you're going to use a lot of the CLO2 or you're going to do a post spray, you might want to add an extra 50 bucks for the house. You can see here's the pad. That's the side that we put down. The ClO2 that's in the solution is an oxidizer, very similar to a hydrogen peroxide. So you can see the whiter areas. What's happening is it's oxidizing or bleaching out the actual soil that we picked up. But here it is next to a brand new pad. You can clearly see the soil that was picked up over here and again it doesn't stay on the surface it draws it into the pad so there you go I'll take this one I'll get started down here 
I'll give you a window shot here of me just cleaning. I'll put the green side down this time. Doesn't matter what side. But uh, I'll go through and I'll clean just this lower section of the hallway. You can see how dirty both sides are. Let's clean it and then I'll see if I can get my big shadow out of the way and we'll see um, the difference. So you can see the, the actual cleaning. And keep in mind, this is, this channel is set up to help people get in the business. You could do a side hustle, get into it very inexpensively, you know, a, a nice commercial vacuum plus this, plus the stuff that you need. Look at that. So a lot of people will say, oh, you know, they don't understand what it is I'm doing. And that's okay. You know, as long as the clients are happy and all my clients, I get great, great feedback. I get uh, not really just a one-time wonder. Look at that. You see the two sides? Of course, my shadow and the machine's over there, but we're not done. That was just a quick once over to show you that it's cleaning on the left there. So anyway, there's my wife. She is grooming. The grooming is not so that you're putting those nice aesthetic triangles down, although they do help. Most people kind of look for the triangles because that's been traditional steam cleaning, the way we wand, you know, then they think it's been cleaned or the way people vacuum, it just looks clean and fresh. What she's doing is moving the fibers forwards and then pulling back so she can check to see if we missed anything. That's the best way to do it. It does, however, I would definitely recommend grooming. I'll show you a few final shots. I do want to say thank you to everyone who's watching. If you have questions, leave them in the comments. I do get pretty busy with my regular business. I'm trying to do this kind of as community service to help people out. So there you go. Like I say, leave your comments down below. Give your boy a thumbs up. Take just two seconds. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Hit the bell for future videos. There you have it. And I will see you all in the next one.